This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Oh boy. This is probably the level of Rouges that I... Oh god. So I promised you we'd get to uh, the point where I admit that I'm a pansy and they terrify me beyond all belief. So much so that I stopped playing the game when I was a kid. But yeah, it was those ghosts. And the particular level we'll tackle next in the uh, hero missions, but um, right now, I feel like I should at least admit it anyway. Most of you could either guess or are making fun of me. But yeah, those ghosts used to scare the living piss out of me. Oh, hey, look. The nails. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so we need to get Rouge's upgrade, which is the pink nails, I think is what they're called. Um, essentially, yeah, the pink nails. You can dig into the ground or walls. Um, they're the exact same thing as Knuckles' uh, shovel claws, um, but uh, Only two more. obviously they're not shovel claws. <laughs> Sorry. They're the exact same thing as Knuckles' shovel claws, and uh, a lot of the upgrades are shared between characters, although. You know, at least they have different names, so that's nice. Um, this becomes one of the most useful upgrades for all the treasure hunting characters. Uh, Especially in the later levels, because they'll tend to hide be pretty close. much every emerald, or in this case, pretty much every key piece underground, or at least in a place where you need to use them. And they use the pick nails more than you use, like say the uh, what are they? The hammer gloves for knuckles, I think is what they're called. Right? The legend punch through the iron boxes. Pretty much never use those. At least I never use them. I think you use them once for one level. And then that's it. I don't have much to say, I'm sorry guys, I just don't like this level. It's not even because the ghosts are in it. I, I as I got older, I got over them, but still they can creep me out because I just pop out of nowhere and the faces the faces man it's the fucking faces they are terrifying those faces are nuts they're a chill game too granted I was five so I guess you can call it kind of dramatically scarring what you want to call it I don't know much to say there's nothing about this level that I really like or that I could even say was memorable. Hell, Knuckles' version of Eggman's uh, key level was more memorable than this one. I just... I don't have much to say. And honestly, I find that with a lot of Rouge's gameplay. I just don't have much to say. It's not even that I don't like Rouge as a character, even though she's pretty much just boobs and sex appeal, the character. With... Flirtation with Knuckles. You know, that, that's the, uh, way she has no reason to exist, at least in this game. And her whole plot gimmick is that she's a government agent working for Gun to uncover what Project Shadow is, or the ultimate life form. But none of that comes up until like near the end of the game, so it's like...
up until then, you're pretty much just playing as her to kill time. In fact, this is the only part of the game where she even mentioned that she's a government agent until the very end of the game. Where, uh, spoilers, Shadow just basically accuses How's her that? out of fucking nowhere. Uh, like me? Like he apparently knows who she is. Like she's apparently famous, but she's supposed to be a secret agent, so I don't... <gasps> it's a space transporter! The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. And now we get to the space levels. If there's anything about Sonic that's pretty much commonplace, when you start getting to the space levels, you start getting to the end of the game. And the music is once again phenomenal. Very eerie, but it still has that rock soundtrack that Sonic was known for, at least until he this bebop and hip hop rap crap. That's just me being a curmudgeon on the fuck. This level, we will be finding Dr. Eggman. Thank you for your useless help. In this uh, level, we'll be finding Eggman's a version of the hover upgrade, which becomes integral to. It makes navigating around pretty much every level so much easier. In fact, this is the room we find it in. Um, and if you're wondering why killing the enemies makes the room brighter, uh, John. Uh, I... Everything in the space colony arc is attached to a central power core that transmits power wirelessly throughout the station to all the defense drones. Taking out the defense drones transmitter allows you to transfer power to, uh, to I don't know, science babble, science babble, techno nerd. I'm too much, I'm too old for this. That's a lie. I am never too old to go full science nerd. Or techno nerd, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Nuclear explosives! Even in the Sonic universe, they still call them I'm never too old to get lost in bullshit science. Ah, uh, the hover. It's pretty much cheap. Also, why does Eggman have the boxing glove and Tails have the propeller? I mean, I get that it's a cartoon, but... Why, Eggman? You were firing a machine gun when we first found you. Why do you have a boxing glove? Why can't it be like a sword or a knife or... I don't know. Well, I guess I know why it can't be a knife, but why can't it be like, I don't know, a blade or... Shit, a metal fist. Why does it have to be a boxing glove? Granted, this is the man who decided he had and thank you for telling me this. For telling us this. Giant golden nipples on his jacket. Because I would have never seen it like that. So, I guess questioning a boxing glove is uh, really not worth my time now, is it? Also, why do only some of the Beetle drones have cannons on them? Why don't all of the Beetle drones have cannons on them? I feel like that's a design flaw. A very poor one. Also, if you hold the button too long, it uh, disconnects. Hey look, it's big again! Can't shoot him. Damn it. I wonder if he has Froggy with him. Why do some why don't only some of the Beetle Robots have cannons on them? Why don't all of the Beetle Robots have cannons on them? 
That feels like a design flaw. A very big design flaw. I mean, if you want to use some for public surveillance, sure, but this is a central colony space station. A secret space station that the government is using to fund research for weapons of mass destruction, among other things. I think if anyone is on here illegally, you might want to pass trial and uh, by jury and all that crud. I think that's enough of my rambling. <laughs> Piece of cake. Damn, stop trying to apply logic to the world of science. It doesn't work. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. It's the Sonic version of now, a fetus. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top-secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. That's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels. Very well. Okay, then. It's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat. But you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emerald be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the paint separately. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. You know, this game needs an HD remake. 
Hey look, it's target practice, the level. Weapons bed. Probably... I don't know, my second favorite Eggman level, just because there's a lot of things to blow up. As a kid, I was always interested in watching things go boom. I think most of them were. The more things I could string together to get the to explode, the uh, better. But uh, in this level, we unlock the large cannon. So essentially, every time we press B, it fires a little missile that breaks iron containers. Like those. Now pay attention, kiddies, because I think this is the s one of two times that we will use this. I think there's... I don't remember how many of them will go away. I think there's at least two. I could be wrong. Ah! That's what I get. You know, the more I think about it, the more it's probably a pretty good idea that they put uh, a health bar on the Eggman level, because I don't, I couldn't imagine doing this pretty much having to keep a hold of rings. The gameplay is not fast enough for me to keep moving, and you're encountering more enemies than usual. Oh god, oh, watch out. I don't like you. Don't advise me, please. Also, uh, another problem with the Sonic Universe, and I'm going to try to apply a lot to Eggman. I hope that seatbelt is strong enough to list that like 7,000 tons of people. It's an unrealistic number, but I like unrealistic numbers. They make the world go. Why do you think all the banks have their health power? Other thing that I'm not, or other comment that I'm not very well versed on, but I'm still going to have an opinion on because that's how my generation is. Uh, waffles. You know, even the mech level gets me to the seats. Auto target. I think it might at least a little bit. I never noticed really. Uh, usually, pretty much running through the game, just doing this most of the time. In fact, to be honest, I'm trying to avoid doing that a lot is uh, to figure out to get it more. Then again. Hearing the uh, heartbeat on your flatline gets going too. So. Oh god, that wasn't smart. See what I mean about the uh, cover being probably the most useful thing you could have around in this game? Also, holy crap, Eggman, calm the fucking pits. You do not need to move that fast. <laughs> I've seen enough things go boom. Was that a... Was. Hey. 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 I can't reach it. I don't have time. Probably do. Oh god! I think she's gonna have no one. Find the trees. Underwater trees. Hey, look! An obligatory obstacle that they don't ever use in any other level in this game, specifically to show off this mechanic. Yush! I could say that about Lightspeed Dash, but that shows up in, I think, every level. That was too close. Although I think in the rest of the levels in this game. Nope, no, the no, you, you do have to use it at least. Yeah. Okay, everyone.
everyone ready? Shadow, move! On with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! I'm so glad you made it! You're not Sonic! Who are you? Go down. Shit's about to go down. Uh, this boss fight is also incredibly easy. Oh, I'm mad now. But with that, that concludes our episode three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you in the next episode when we take on the hero story.